Hi and welcome to our presentation. We are Torsion Audio and we are representing Cyclone. We are a Berlin-based collective of audio programmers, machine learning engineers and artists interested in investigating the intersection of digital audio signal processing and artificial intelligence and developing music generation and audio design softwares. So what we have developed. Cyclone is an audio plugin that utilizes neural timbre transfer technology to offer a new approach to audio production. A plugin builds upon the methodology of RAVE, facilitating real time inferencing in both single and couple inference mode. We provide in plugin signal processing modules, allowing the user to shape, control, and manipulate the signal pre and post model inference. But how does the plugin work? As you can see on the left hand side, the audio is received by the plugin level before branching out into independent signal flows. The signal flow encompasses a filter, a transient control, a granular delay, and finally the neural timbre transfer is applied. The output from both of the networks are then blended, compressed, once again leveled before dispatching from the plugin. On the right hand side, you can see the network node. The network node allows the user to control and shape the sound in different ways. It is also equipped with an arm, allowing the user to load Onyx models, enable the grain delay, or simply turn the network on and off. The plugin is also equipped with an XY plane. The X axis allows the user to control the attack and the sustain of the sound, while the Y axis controls the sharpness or the smoothness of the sound. On this slide, you can see the user interface. On the left hand side, two different network nodes are positioned on an XY plane, freely floating between different sound characteristics. In the center, you have the real time signal plotter, ensuring the sound is actually passing through the plugin. The fade fader allows the user to mix between the outputs of the network. The dynamic fader applies compression, and the dry wet output mixes between the raw and the wet audio signal. On this slide, you can see the second view of the plugin, allowing even further control of the sound. The user can further control the transients, once again blend between the outputs of the network, adjust the parameters of the post compressor, and also play around with the parameters of the inbuilt granular delay. For our future work, we want to train more RAVE models on different data set, and also integrate version 2 of the RAVE, which has been recently released. We also want to open a plugin for other music and audio generation models that follow the same principles of a VAE. We also want to implement a latent interpolator and also allow noise based inference and not only rely on the incoming signal as the inference trigger. We also want to further improve our UI and UX and allow the user with even more convenience to navigate our software. Thank you very much for your attention and we look forward to seeing you online.